This Fuso tutorial will show you how to create and edit a staging task. Our first step is to open the 40 simulation app and create a new staging task. I'll click this icon, create a new staging task, and I'll be given a red pin that I need to place on the site where I'd like my staging task to be. I'll just click apply for now. We're going to come back and edit this later. And for my staging task, I want to add all of my structural columns from the third floor. So we are going to create an object filter for that. I'll go to object filters in settings and click new. My first filter rule will be level three. And I'll create a second filter based on the Revit category. Structural columns. I'll close the filter rules window and rename my filter. And when I click highlight, all of the objects in my filter will be highlighted. So I can either add the objects to the task by clicking add selection, or I can add the entire filter to the task by clicking add. Now I'm just going to adjust the dates of my staging task. Since all of the columns are installed on September 3rd, I'm going to adjust the staging task to September 2nd. Now when I jump to the dates of my staging task, I can see that the orientation of all of my columns are not how I'd like them to be. So I'm going to edit the orientation by clicking the red pin and choosing row stack direction up. And I'm going to increase the row amount so that our tower is not so high. I can also move the red pin if I decide to put my staging location somewhere else. I can also change the orientation of the row by clicking row direction and choosing a different direction. And I can move the objects by clicking the refit button instead of the red pin. That will open the refit tool where I can move or rotate the objects. And lastly, if I need to hide my red pin, I'll go to settings and uncheck the show staging pin checkbox. And that's how you create and edit a staging task infuser. Thanks for watching.